What does America mean to you? Your removal is final. There's nothing you can do. I'm sorry. But this is my home. New York is my home. Well, welcome to Miami. Thank you. And I love that this film takes place in New York because mm. I have the fortune to live there for a couple of years. And if you stop in a corner and listen, there, the people, you can, uh, at least four different languages or yeah. three around yeah. you. So how important was, and did you film in order? Um, um, very much did not film in order. Yeah. Uh, it was all over the place, but we did film in New York and we only used one set in the entirety of the movie yeah. for a total of two scenes. Yeah. Um, and so being able to film on the street, you're absolutely right. You hear the different languages, different cultures, and it brought another energy to the movie because New York has its own energy mm -hmm. and playing two characters that have such distinct cultural backgrounds, it influences how they move throughout like the, the course of the day. Yeah, there's such a realism to filming in New York. It was very, uh, very alive and very, uh, very magical. Yeah, and the film is actually about to embrace that we can all coexist in, mm -hmm. in the same space. And did you feel a little challenge, you know, um, if the romance and the chemistry between you guys fail, the whole movie fails? Because this movie is about your performance, your delivery as as an actor, yeah. and you did amazing. Thank did you. you. That's feel, why we just couldn't fail. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you feel a challenge, like with this particular roles that you were, you know, I, playing in this project? I mean, when it came to this, uh, you know, there's a lot of trust involved when we came to set every day. We, we really did the work when it came to our characters and really fully invested in who Natasha is and who Daniel is and. You know, that, that, a testament to our cinematographer Autumn and our phenomenal director Ryru So Young, who really, you know, really made the process seamless and organic. And, you know, that, that takes trust. You know, we really trusted each other. And it wasn't so much acting, you know, from action to cut, but really just being in the shoes of our characters. And I also love that um, these simple scenes like touching. How much we forget about that, not just couples, you know. I think this film will impact not just young uh, people, but also like sometimes we forget about this, to look at each other yeah. in the it's, eyes. I like yeah. there's not that much fun interaction, just mm -hmm. the necessary. Yeah, it's, it, it's a nice reminder, you know. It's, you know, with time and experiences, we can become jaded with what love is and the human connection. So. To, you know, this movie definitely, I hope, in a way, you know, can re-inspire people. How do you, what do you think people to take away from the film? Well, exactly what you pointed out, the importance of love, because it plays a part in every aspect of the story, of, of our love story, but also of um, talking about immigration and talking about our cultures. It all stems from this idea of love and, and caring deeply for others, not only the people that you instantly know you'll connect with, but the people that you don't think you will. Well, thank you so much. Thank I mean, you. I'm grateful for this kind of films that we need. We have so oh. much action and super- I'm Daniel. Natasha. We are just ordinary. What's with the notebooks? Poems. Poems. What are they about? Wait, let me guess. Love. love. Not all of them. I don't believe in love. So no magic, no fate, no meant to be. What if I told you I could get you to fall in love with me? Just give me a day. An hour. What are your key ingredients to falling in love? My ingredients are friendship, chemistry, the X factor. What's the X factor? Don't worry, we've got it. You and I. <laughs> this isn't gonna make me change my mind, Mr. Plaid Thai. Did you just call me Pad Thai? Plaid Thai? My family's from Korea, not Thailand. Well, that is not what I said, so you can stop waiting for an apology. Oh, I'm waiting for something, but not for an apology. What are you so afraid of? Listen, I wasn't born here. What? My family is leaving tomorrow. This is real, and I know you feel it too. The choice we make. The path 
we choose, we don't have forever. All we have is a single day.